Good morning YouTube viewers. This is Brent and uh, I've got a piece of amethyst to cut today. Kind of a nice squarish piece. Ought to work out fine for uh, the design I want to use today. This is a, a very clean piece and I want to cut a uh, Actually, it's called a curved square brilliant cut, but it's a square cut. Not sure how the color is going to turn out with this. It's kind of faded out when you look from this direction, but when you look from the side, it, the color is better. But we'll see. <clears throat> and this is my diagram. Curved square brilliant for refractive indexes of 1.54. And this is a 64 index uh, design or diagram. So I've got to change my index gear. I've cut this before, so I've made a few notes here. I don't expect too much trouble cutting this. Okay, I've got my piece of rough uh, dopped up with wax. Ready to start cutting. I've gotten my 64 index gear installed on my machine. And I've aligned everything up properly. Okay, I've got my gemstone mounted into the machine, ready to cut. And, uh, I want to mention the faceter who sent this to me. Uh, his name, he has his own uh, YouTube channel. And uh, it's right here. Uh, Santiago Lapitacao. A fine faceter from South America. He was very kind and uh, he sent me this and some other rough to cut. So take a look at his channel. He's uh, doing a, cutting stones almost daily, and he does a fine job. Here I've got Pavilion 1 and 2 steps completed, cutting with the 600 lap. These are the brake facets. Just finished cutting all of the girdle facets. I've been using the 600 lap, so next I will go to the 8000 pre polished disc, the copper lap. And after that will be final polishing of this, this pavilion.
doing the final polishing, and I'm using cerium oxide. I'm using uh, some of the thin polyester film uh, ultra laps for this because it was working better than my lightning lap. Polishing is going very well on this stone. I finished polishing the gem. It didn't cause any problems. I had a few scratches, but I was able to polish them out. So I'll move on to transferring the gemstone to a cone dot. And I'll begin to cut the crown. Yeah, I've chosen the correct uh, cone dot here. Got it mounted in. Oops, doesn't want to slide here. There it goes. Looks just about the right size there. get some epoxy mixed up and put it in with the dock. I've applied the epoxy glue and uh, it's starting to set up. This is five minute epoxy. But I have to keep moving it around so that the epoxy just doesn't run off and drip. So I keep shifting it so it just keeps running back around. And I have to do this for three or four minutes, maybe five minutes, until it, until it starts to solidify enough so I can set it down. But I still wait 24 hours before I cut the gem, the crown tomorrow. I let it get good and, good and hard overnight, and, and I can cut it tomorrow. Okay, I'm starting to cut the crown. Cutting the star facets and using the 8,000 lap, 8,000 grit lap on the copper lap to cut these in. They're small, so they cut easy. So I'll just use the 8,000 grit to cut them in. Cut quickly, so you've got to be careful. You don't want to overcut them.
Okay, I've cut all the facets with the 8,000 grit copper lath. This is what we're looking like right now. All facets are cut except for the table facet. So next I'll pre polish oh, I've just completed pre-polish, so I'll use cerium oxide and I'll do the final polishing next. Okay, the gem is polished now, and I'm ready to cut the crown. And I use cerium oxide. And I used a combination of my lightning lap. And uh, when that started to scratch a couple of times, I switched to these uh, ultra laps, a thin polyester uh, lap coated with uh, cerium oxide. They look like this. And you can maybe cut six or eight stones and then you throw them away. But they worked really good and I think I've got a pretty decent polish on the stone. So only things left is to cut the table and polish it. For cutting the table, I'm going to use a 3000 grit diamond bonded lap. It's a topper lap. And I've got my 45 degree tabling adapter on the machine set up. Got the uh, gemstone into it and uh, ready to uh, lower the stone down. start cutting. Stone is now finished. So what I'll do is uh, heat the dop, stick in the glue and release the stone, clean it up, and we'll have a final reveal. The color came out really good. It, it's uh, fully saturated, I guess you might say. It's not any uh, color zoning that I can see. Looks really good. Let's check the weight on it. Four and a half carats.